out of time, Harry, to be British. We've got the full Fnatic roster in the server and so many questions on Na'Vi, post-break, post-victory, right? G2 may have hit that Cologne final, but they bombed here in Pro League and now Na'Vi can't afford to do the same in this online series. Fnatic, not looking favored on the odds, but like Jason said, like, we don't know what to expect from this team. Perfecto has just torn them a new one. Well, <laughs> uh, not the best debut for Fnatic, but there's still time. Oh, oh dear. Are they about to get aced as their first round? Come on now, Perfecto, don't do this to him. <laughs> don't do him like this. Electronic's got a flash. Oh, he's dinked. Navi, come on. Figure out a way to get Perfecto this kill. Hatch a plan. Just Chiquinho left. Soften him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soften him. Soften the blow. Make it easy for Perfecto. Oh no, Simple's charging in at the front and Electronic's gonna steal it away. It's not quite getting aced as your first round, but still, you know, four from Perfecto lays it to rest. Pretty convincingly there to open up. No one's complaining after that one. No one except Fnatic, right? That's not the, the, the round they wanted to begin Pro League with, but it's not how you start, Harry. It's how you go on, it's how you finish. No one remembers the first round but they'll certainly remember the last. Let's see if Fnatic can bounce back with a force buy. They don't like that, right? They didn't even get to run their execute or do what they wanted on that pistol round. So they're going to give it another go. Tech nine's out. No deagles, so speed is expected. Fnatic in the tech nine. This is, uh, you know, side by side expected. Fast out short. Mollies are down. Fnatic moving in with a flashbang. Electronics up close though, and he makes that quick contact. Brolin gone, and he gets out alive, dodges the flash on the retreat as well. And Na'Vi tried to jump out. Crims takes one with him. Mezzi, another entry, but the flank is in from Con. Bit on the big wrap, and he's got a double on his plate, chowing down to find a second for Na'Vi. And man, I mean, we've had no time to warm in, Harry, but uh, there's so many things we want to talk about. There's so many cool things about this series, and it's already starting off exciting. Yeah, you know, I mean, th th this Fnatic squad, I, I think the desk also did a good job of like highlighting how there is just a crazy amount to discuss with this, right? And like in that same vein, you also don't really know where to where to measure your expectations at all, right? Um, from either side. For Na'Vi, it's going to be interesting to see, right? Because we got them back online and oh man, it looked like it looked like 2020 never even ended, mate. Or like uh, 2019. 2019 never yeah. even ended. 2020, never heard of it, mate. Did not happen. Yeah, man, you get them back at Cologne. They make another, you know, Katowice-esque run. Oh, it was looking so good. And now the question is, you know, how is it going to hold up online for this team post-player break? Ooh. One of the hot prospects of the UK, Messi. Gets a couple of kills off the P250. Taking down simple. Got to feel good. And now Fnatic. Buying in full. Yeah, I saw uh, Alex call Mezzi a uh, an IGL dream. Yeah. if I'm not mistaken, right? He said he's like a, he's like the glue that helps hold everything together. He said he don't know what he doesn't know what he's going to be good at because he's good at everything. And hell, there are worse problems to have. That's like a job interview. What's your what's your biggest flaw? Oh, I'm a perfectionist. I'm too what's your good. Biggest flaw? Oh, I'm just good at I'm like I'm, so good at everything yeah, that I don't I'm, find things challenging. <laughs> Well, this is certainly a challenge up against Simple and Friends. It's got the AWP in the first gun round. Fnatic, they love this water area. They've taken it yet again. Met with nades of Na'Vi. The door going off gives Simple an avenue to respond. They smoke him. They haven't cleared Con. They don't know what lurks inside, and they won't like it if they find. Roland's lining up nades towards Monster, but no one will get hit by these safe positions for Na'Vi. It's worth a shot for Fnatic. I wonder if Boomich will spam as he hears his nades go out. The Molly's good timing. It's going to mean Fnatic need to move and they will into B. Oh, Alex with the open at Brolin. Trying to find more and he gets away with a double. Now there is still this Conrad coming in from Simple and Bit. A two on three and they're going to try and assemble this boost quickly. Hoping that this tips the scales in the retake. If it, nothing comes in, might just be a save out of Na'Vi. Nothing given over. Now they hear simple drop. They know that boost was just assembled. And Fnatic, by not over peeking here, by not getting caught by that boost, they have secured the safety of this round. They're going to get their first when the guns come out. Great entries there from yeah. Brolin, right? It was very, very important that he trades Alex. And then he goes on to really, you know, lock down that B-bomb site. 
Yeah, it's cool because, you know, obviously there's a lot of uh, a lot of big names on this Fnatic team, but I think the one thing they have alongside Firepower is so much entry potential. So many of these players have proven to, uh, to be able to fit in that role in the past and, you know, provide the opener. Mm. So I'm excited to see where the roles lie for Fnatic. When we, when we saw that interview from Alex with Angel TV, great interview, recommend you read it. Uh, he talked about how, um, you know, the they're, they're trying to find this mix of tactical style that he likes to bring to his teams uh, and then combine that with the fact that, you know, Navi have always, oh, Navi, sorry, Fnatic have always been very loose, like the Swedes yeah. and Fnatic have always been very loose and trying to find a balance there uh, to, to hit their peak, Mate, hit their stride. I, I think it's even exciting when you look at this squad, you know, uh, for any Swedes who love the old Fnatic organization, it's important to remember the Tala in Gelske, you know? Ah, you know? Yeah. They're speaking English off. now. We like that. Yeah. Quick pick for simple, a charge in. That's a nice trade for Brolin. He looks away and Boomich grabs the frag. It's perfected. Pushes in. Alex knows and he does deal with him, but so does simple. Responding from heaven, leaving just Chiquinho. He'd love it all, but he can't take simples out of his hands. Three kills for simple. The opener and the closer for that man. And no better man for the job. Talking of orbs. I know we always reroute back to Fnatic. It's mainly because they are the, the question yeah, mark. Yeah, just because the there's course. so much. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know, we know Na'Vi the best. first time looking at them. Nothing like, new there. But, you know uh, what to expect out of Na'Vi. I think there are big questions on that open Fnatic, right? Like, uh, you know, I don't want to start doom and gloom, so I won't. So Giacchino, uh, you know, he's been on this team a while. We've really not seen his orping. Sometimes second, even then, not really that much. So uh, I can't wait to see, you know, if he can be that orb that, he, that he's been touted to be uh, on the primary role. Because it's been a while since his former teams where he was running that AWP and Fnatic have a lot of faith in him. Simple, meanwhile! Oh no! That's an AWP! The stars align for Simple, mate. The game just runs different for this guy. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Whenever he's playing it, it looks like a Call of Duty single player campaign with how things <laughs> happen, mate. It's on rails. Yeah. And now Bit waiting here in Con. I, I think Bit's been such a great addition, man. Yeah. Look at this, he's holding down the connector Bye. and he plays it smart, he gets away with one and he knows just his presence oh. is enough to cause problems. He doesn't want to give away this con control, open up a potential route down to that B-bomb site. You know, that would let Fnatic complicate things. Instead, he's just holding this real estate, not giving it away. And it's leaving Fnatic with very little to do. The way I'm looking at this, they kind of have no choice but to but to try and deal with this con player. Yeah. Uh, they're also getting wrapped by Electronic through B because Na'Vi have got the info as to where both of these players are. And so they are taking real estate all across the board. This should be undoable for Fnatic now. Yeah, they've got loads of nades and they are still holding on for these flanks, but just missing timings right now. They were hoping they could force Bits rotate up Con by peeking the A site with Bomb, but it didn't work. And now Simple posted and ready for Mezzi. Chiquinho dead to Bit on the flank. The Bomb's lost. I mean, it was already an impossible round and now it gets harder. Electronic with a flank and five alive for Fnatic or for Na'Vi. The names elude me. Boomich may get tagged up on A, but he dodges death and Simple starts strong. Ooh, mama. Fanatic. Little eco before things get back to normal. They try the Tech Nines. Now let's see what their Deagles can do. Oh, I like the Molly mid. If they didn't extinguish it, you know Bit's taking that real estate, right? At the very, very least, it's still info gained for Na'Vi. They know that there's players out here in middle on the back of extinguishing that Molotov. So it's helped give them a bit of a better idea as to how this is looking. You'll look that, you know, while they give with one hand, they, they let you take this park and party area, they will take with the other. Electronic has pushed up to short water. And this is such a key area of the map to hold on to. It's going to allow for one of these three players at B to be a little more loose, rotate between either site. And that's kind of, you know, where, where we see Boomich right now. He's going to be that guy over in heaven for the time being. But I imagine, you know, if contact is made over here at A, we see him move up right away. Yeah, simple set bit up in toilets. And now we've got a smoke down. Simple holding short side gives bit just that smoke to worry about. And so he will. Walking through his Brolin and Bit chews him up. Many more to be found though. Fnatic might want to slow down. They don't want to walk a smoke again. Didn't work the first time. Why not the orb? Let's try that. No, dead is Bit as well as Mezzi does find his opening D shot. And three on four for Fnatic. They grab a gun, but 
what can they really do with it? One flash for Alex to try and get them in. He's going to lob it over. Now Messi making a move to get the rifle. He wants D shots and he's got simple, fully flashed. Now upgraded and looking for these two players in the bomb site. Perfecto tucked in. Messi can't clear him, but he tries. And Perfecto doubles up NT for Fnatic. One more bullet landing and suddenly that's a scary round. But instead it's Navi dealing with the eco as they should. And now we get to see the Orpa Giacchino in full force. God, I, I feel kind of relieved, right? After after we saw, you know, G2 also have a good run back in Cologne on land and they come back post player break and, uh, you know, I don't want to mince words here. They really do shit the bed in, 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 in their group, right? 0 and 5. I was a little worried that we could see Na'Vi have a slow start post player yeah. break online. Didn't know to do that. Yeah, but right now I think we're getting a very good game out of them. Simple is just looking unhinged as he so often does. Then you've got this really nice supporting cast of players around him. It, it looks unreal when you look at this squad and you go, mate, Simple actually has help for a change. Like, oh, yeah, I'll well, be damned. This rifle and buddy and electronic got wall banged out by Mezzi, who has just been finding opening kills left and right. Perfecto, looking to close out the B play. How does that hit for Simple? He will finally get hounded down, but I'm not worried yet. Brolin 1v2, quick shot up heaven, can't connect, and Boomage keeps the round in Na'Vi's hands. Seven to one. And right now it's a bit of a beat. It is a star orb player. Yeah, so you don't want to ask Simple to put down the orb. Not again, not after last time. So yeah, here we go. Pause relieved and buy in for Fnatic. They've put an AK in the hands of Mezzi. Surrounded by pistols. Alex is going to flash the party. Try and clear out an aggressive player. There's no one here. Bit is roaming around long and simple. Who started with a four man B stack has moved up CT as well. The toilet smoke coming down. Bit's calling for support. And electronic will also be drawn in. Fnatic walk the smoke. Bit doesn't know. No one does. Simple does. Quick pick yet again. Opening on to Alex. And these are going to be hard shots to hit for Fnatic up against this orb. They've got deagles to do it. Let's see if anyone can find him. He hit that. Oh, Brolin's up in their face. This deagle. Oh, needed the second now. Electronic will okay. get stifled by Crims. And that's given room to Fnatic. However, Bit is prepared to take it all away. He's even got a man alongside him. Him and Boomic pushed up through these toilets coming in on a fast flank. Sure, Boomic is toppled, but low HP on both these players now for Fnatic, and they need to find they this know. CT player. They've got to try and deal with this rotation. Nowhere is safe to plant in this site while both toilets and CT are occupied. A swing on either side would not be hard pressed to deny that bomb plant. So it's a waiting game right now. And I can assure you, Fnatic, you are not going to get given these peaks that you're waiting for. They have to go looking for them. And that's only dug the hole deeper. Messi tapping the bomb, hasn't baited a peak out of Perfecto. He's done it again to try and force the peak. Oh, and this weird. time he's sandwiched as they both push up on either side. This is a very well drilled looking yeah. Na'Vi. Na'Vi could not have played that better. They really couldn't. Even at the end, right? Perfecto doesn't fall for the fake, firstly. But then, as he goes for the second tap, Bit is the one running. And Perfecto's playing second. Bit's got the cover oh. of the boxes. As soon as, you know, he hears Bit running, that's where Perfecto comes out. So, yeah, just, just manipulating with the minds of Fnatic. Good round out of Na'Vi. You know, again, Deagles, they get close. There's been a lot of close rounds here. A lot of 2v2s, 3v3s. But at the end of the day, it's all coming up yellow. Mate, the, uh, the, the beautiful thing about this Na'Vi squad and in comparison to Na'Vi squads of old is like whenever Na'Vi of old have ever made a run, you go, yeah, that was good. I hope they can keep it up. Because realistically, <laughs> like maybe it gets worse from here. Whereas with this Na'Vi, because you have so many fresh faces, I feel like they're on a path where it can only get better in a yeah. way, right? Like you, you hope that Bit only grows as a player. You hope that Perfecto only grows as a player. I mean, even if you compare when Perfecto first joined this team to where he's at now, he feels so much more established, right? He's like, he's like one of the core pillars of this squad. And he's proven time and time again to be like a great crunch time player. Yeah.
And, you know, bringing in someone like Bit, I, I mean, we've been talking about academy teams and your up-and-coming players, younger guys, and I, I mean, this year and the last 12 months for CIS has been no surprise in that, right? Seeing teams like VP, Spirit, Gambit, all these guys rise up in form and, and hit those top 10 spots while Bit deserves to be there along with the rest of them. Oh, gone now, though, through the smoke. Fnatic keep going through that. Crims has been in connector all around, and Boomich has not been giving him the time of day. You want short, you've got to take it from me. Simple takes Alex, and a four on three for Na'Vi. Close smoke lets Fnatic move up without the threat of the AWP, but they don't want it. It's all a bit of a bait, and it's worked well. Three on eight. Boomich has to stop this play. He's got to get something done here, and there's one. Lovely work still up on Na'Vi as Fnatic charge into B. Oh, it's been tapered off uh -oh. with that flash, though, and so many rotates have come in that Messi knows he can't win this round. As sad Not as it all. is to admit defeat, it's really the only option they leave him with. He sees, you know, or his teammate, I guess, sees not one, but three players there on the push. Yeah, and also because Fnatic are running that rotate, Boomich is hearing the entire time. So even though he only gets one kill, that doesn't feel like a lot with three on A, but because he's cooling, yeah, they're coming down connector. Perfecto is already so deep in position. So Na'Vi were never going to give away that bomb plant. Fresh fade for Boomich. Looking good, my man. He is looking good, isn't he, man? Yeah. Oh, Boomich is such a stylish guy. Double molly almost every round as well for Na'Vi in these mid-takes. Fnatic, you'll expel a smoke just to get some semblance of yeah. good control, but you're never going to use two. Unless you're really doing something fast, it's just going to limit your util. And in this round, Fnatic do not have a lot to play with. Yeah, I, I love that that's what so much of this Na'Vi CT side is always based around, is like slowing this mid-take and, and therefore kind of giving yourself a bit more room elsewhere to pressure, right? Yeah. Whether that be with these double setups over in mid oh or with Electronic taking short water oh. all across the board, Na'Vi are looking to get aggressive. And it's a beautiful <laughs> sight because famously, Hugo, Na'Vi would not like this super aggressive in your face team there you would have had Oops. guys like simple taking some aggression you know going through the motions with the orb but a ct side that's this oppressive not something i'm incredibly used to seeing out of them it's a beautiful oh, sight weird. look at this electronic <laughs> has been trapped at the nightclub mate but alex is friends with the bouncer and he gets him sent away jaquino nails a shot onto bit as well and so finally this aggressive, oppressive stance that Na'Vi have taken is being used against them. Yeah. It's taken a lot of time for Fnatic to be in this position, and it's still not a guarantee yet. But with three players stacked up for Na'Vi on this B site, if Fnatic go away, the round is theirs. Yeah, Na'Vi should be realizing now they've just peeked deep in monster. They've seen nothing. Boomish is going to start to hit steps as Fnatic throw in util. They're surprisingly, you know, welcomed into this A site. And Fnatic have been, been given nothing, as you were just saying. So they hesitate, but they will get that plant in. Grenades land, but not enough to do damage. And Na'Vi might have to save. And that comes back to these close rounds, right? The, the damage Fnatic have been doing. Na'Vi make a gamble, it's not the right one, and they get kept down on B. Yeah, nice aggressive round though, right? Electronic, that's just a bit weird. He fires off by accident, maybe he, he thinks he sees someone, maybe it's a misclick, and at that point they know he's pushed in through, and you could see him like jiggling, and, and the reason he got caught there is because while he's trying to safe jiggle barrels and check spawn, he also knows there could be a player on the, on the nightclub, right? And so he doesn't want to not go wide enough and then get walked up on. That forces him into this weird limbo of, okay, I've got to peek, but I've got to also get lucky. And he doesn't get lucky. Alex hits the headshot, and Fnatic regroup on that A site. Nice try for Na'Vi. But yeah, they were hitting two bomb sites at the same time on this CT side, right? The, the flash here for Bit with that aggressive play was timed with Electronic making this jiggle. So yeah, trying to do everything they can. And fair enough, Na'Vi have been able to do whatever they want in the CT side. Finally punished. Let's yeah. see how things change. But you know, that's like, that's almost, that, that round there is like the psychology of like the idea behind growing up, right? Yeah. You're, you're constantly pushing the limits and seeing actually what you're allowed to get away with. That's what Na'Vi are doing there. Ooh. A not B just rush Navi. for Fnatic. Is this going to go well? Perfecto is blinded. He's not able to take that peek that he wanted to. And Electronic Whoa. needs to help him out here. The Famous will get one. Oh, make it a double. 180s a piece for Electronic. And he even damaged dealt to Jaquino. A three on two, this B rush. It slows to a crawl now as we get into the minutiae of clearing these sight angles. 
Boomich is playing an aggressive line. Flash to try and set up this short peak as well. Na'Vi are really trying to make you uncomfortable, Fnatic. Are you going to oh. let them? Crimson, he takes the head off of Boomich. And that's a lot of pressure alleviated now. Yeah, the inertia of just waiting. No one wanting to give these kills over. Crims will have to go and steal them. Chiquinho leaves the angle as Simple dons it. Flick needed, and Simple almost hits it, man. Terrified. Simple has that cross on lock. Crims can jump up and plant sandbags. He's got the short cover, but he doesn't know. Bits tucked in behind the sandbags. He won't go until it's too late. Crims backstabbed, thought he was covered, and Chiquinho didn't have that realization. And now he's locked in into a fight that Bit won't give away. Simple's waiting. He'll eventually have to move, maybe drop in. That's when Bit will activate. Unless Giacchino comes to them. Yeah, this is such a mind game of a round. Giacchino wants to keep Bit trapped here, but the whole oh. time he's paranoid that Simple is getting closer. And that's because Simple's getting closer. Here he is over in the water. Giacchino first shot misses. It's all getting a bit wild around the smoke. Simple on the receiving end. Bit will trade it, but it. the round is still Fnatic's Chiquinho winning a 1v2. My goodness. And Na'Vi, you know, it's a bit of a shame. I think they're hoping that Chiquinho kind of outbrains himself, that the panic gets yeah. to him and he gives away a fight that he shouldn't. But Chiquinho has got steely nerves, mate. He just keeps himself scoped up on Bit's angle at short for so long. Yeah, and ultimately, you know, he kind of gives like Na'Vi enough rope to hang themselves, as it were, right? That smoke gives him a lot of room as well, even though it's not intended to. He's, uh, he's just able to dance around it and only fight on one side of the pillar. Na'Vi, a lost round. A couple in a row now. They've still got a bit of money, but this, I mean, losing this gives Fnatic a way in, right? It gives them the chance for 9-6 half. Simple. How does he hit these shots? I don't know. Tagging Crims on the cross to long, and you've got a lot of information if you're Na'Vi. You know Fnatic are heavy A out of the gate. Is that going to cause a rotate? Not for now. Electronic has taken water, and at a certain point, Boomish just needs to move. Yeah, there he goes. Back up A, leaving Perfecto to hold alone at B. Simple re-aggressing into Giacchino's orb, but he won't go too far. Oh, nice duck shot. Giacchino grabs it. Bit catches Alex going through the smoke, and as we've said, that's been a consistent factor of this T side for Fnatic. Bits catching on. Four on four. Fnatic deep up long, and that's a good Molotov for Boomish. They were ready to go through, and now they've got to wait. Giving time for rotates, Fnatic is still going to pummel in this in this A site. Yeah, it's bought you a bit of time. Oh, bit can't find a thing. Boom, it's cleared as well. Brolin, once again, fast and loose with the entries, and Chiquinho closes the round. The man to open it is the one to put another on the All board right. for Fnatic, and they're well on yeah. their way to recovering this half. Chiquinho's looking good. Yeah, yeah he's started to come alive since bringing the AWP out. Kill Simple there, who's been... That's a very hard kill, considering not only Simple's just waiting on the angle, but he's been you know, having a great day today. Rolling with the entries, rounds after rounds. I'm, I'm liking what I'm getting out of Fnatic. Na'Vi may start strong, but Fnatic won't give up or go down without a fight. Now, that 9-6 half that we're talking about, it's predicated on the back of one rifle round for Na'Vi. That's the question. For now, I'm not expecting the eco win. Some normal, uh, normal seat to return here, I hope. Electronic going through, though. I mean, he does this every round. Yeah, it's kind of spooky. Information. And Mezzi's selling the fake, but he's used all his grenades towards B. He's thinking, yeah, mate, they're faked out hard. They're, they're scared. B. Yeah, nope. they don't know. They know everything. So now we can see Na'Vi pad this A bomb site. It's, it's still pistols, again. But these can always get out of control. Yeah, now you have to see if you're... Uh... You know, just big fish in a little pond as you move into Shrimple's waters over here in Con. He's ready to, <laughs> he's ready to dig you down. Yeah, man, when Simple sees food, he eats it. But he's not been given much of an opportunity. Molotov on the side, nice trade for Perfecto's Deagle. One of three in the round, and Bits P250 has found an AK. Oh, another toilet player, though. He's not ready for the trade out of Messi. This could still get weird. Simple's rotating up through CT. Electronic is, is, is you know, 50 kilometers away, mate. Like, he's a long way from playing in just yet, especially as he takes the long flank. Called that because of the position, but also because of the time it's going to take. Now, Messi's going to hear this run up, and Electronic never even gets to play into the round. Yeah, Messi looking versatile still. 
And simple. Not going to get given away back in here. Truck plant. Fnatic just gets a hang on. And simple, yeah, saving some armor, saving some face here as Na'Vi will just be looking for that final round by. Get whatever they can with it. Fnatic, a very worrying start to this series, right? With them almost getting aced in the pistol, them going 9-1 down. Well, they've now found some form here in the last four. And Na'Vi have to piece together this buy. It could have an orb. But if he buys body armor and drops the AWP, Simple will be wielding that. Means Bit doesn't have utility. But he has just been sitting in toilets a lot of the time. A smoke would be nice. Maybe Simple can do that for him. But uh, it's not like Bit needs the util. He's been getting flashed into a lot of uh, aggressive angles as well. All right, Fnatic heading into the last round of the half. And this means everything to them. Oh, Simple up here on the boost. Chiquinho. Oh, I saw him. Oh, it's awkward. Didn't shoot. No one going to win that. Messi's up short and the nade time with electronic spray. That looked crazy calculated. <laughs> Chiquinho's repelled out as short. And so this real estate that Fnatic had just moments ago has been taken away. Yeah, back to the drawing board. I think this round's really going to come down to, you know, how much a guy like Broly can get away with. He's been... Great at getting these openers. And with him and Messi both out of the round, I think you're in a bit of a rough spot now. Yeah, that's the power duo that's been getting so many of these picks, right? Chiquinho, maybe a big orb round from him needed. Meanwhile, Navi have two tagged up players. Electronics got the orb, a rare case, but he is only on 20 and Simple is more than notable with a rifle. Got flashes to get you out B here. And Na'Vi, they're not going to be making any aggro moves in this round now. They just re-smoke Monster. They delay the clock by another 15. They still have three on A, leaning heavily on that top side, where many of these rounds have ended up for Fnatic. The only, really, all the one rounds for Fnatic have been on A, the majority of. Perfecto, spamming smokes. So they've got to be careful. Molotov ready as well. More and more of the clock getting burnt, as well as the opportunities for Fnatic. And here come these Swedes and Brits as they sneak through the tunnel. Oh, Electronic on that AWP. Says farewell to Alex and Giacchino. Much the same for Electronic. Yeah, I think we, we got good things off both sides right now to, to, you know, look at coming into the second half. And now we've just got to see Na'Vi's typical slow T-side rounds and whether that's been changed over the player break. What more is there to see? Simple posted on B. Often see this guy with a P250 in these opening rounds, but Boomish has just brought nades with electronic and we've got Glocks all out and about. Double nade for Fnatic. Maybe you're looking to deny a bomb plant on either bomb site. They're actually playing very safe towards B as well. Even though these nades are up on top, Alex is starting to move down. You don't know yet. Yeah, both the nade players are just running in tandem together, knowing that wherever it is, as long as we're together, we can dunk this plant. Navi are trying to fake them out on that top site Mate. though. I, I, lo I love the double nade play. This is like real old like, school Fnatic. This is yeah. what they used to do when Golden was in the team. So, uh, you know, you talk about how Alex is trying to accommodate. Woo. You don't get more accommodating than running their old classic yeah, pistol strap. We need these nades to come over now, boys. Come on. They're a little late. They're a little late, but it's fine. The kill <laughs> still locked in as Electronic was trapped in the bomb site. Now the retake is well and truly afoot. Flashed in, you're just trying to take fights. Everyone's here though, and no one's getting opening shots for Na'Vi. It's left Boomich on his laurels, 1v4, and he's deleted by Mezzi. Fnatic with a stylish retake in that five on three. The boost up on top to start, the nades to follow up, and everything goes well for Fnatic. I like the retake setup. We see teams like Gambit do that as well uh, in gun round sometimes, so that's, uh, yeah, that's lovely stuff. But yeah, I mean, it was always like... Uh, it always used to be know, Golden Flusher Golden Flusher on together. B, Inferno, yeah, yeah. Like retaking B, playing Coffins and CT, nading Coffins. So many pistol rounds out yeah. of that Golden Love Fanatic squad featured yeah, the double yeah. nade onto Bomb Plant. Hey, we've got yeah. Keeter on the cam as well. Old Cole Coach, if you know him. Yep. Lovely guy. Big and pick up for this, uh, this squad. Yes, absolutely. Another British boy. We still have, uh, you know, Alex talked about in that interview, I was mentioning that how Samuelson is still there. You know, he's outside the bubble, so he can give a different perspective. And, you know, Fanatic have a lot of support in that sense from the start from the orb. Yeah, it's kind of cool. They've like completely restructured the whole thing. You know, like Samuel said, there's like a much more top-down approach to 
both teams now, like the, the Fnatic Academy and the main Fnatic squad, from what I can tell. Yeah. And then you've got Keita as like this very hands-on coach to the main team. Yeah, and one of the credits of Keita as well, the, the blame often gave him in Cole was, oh, this guy like does so much work. We always go through demos. You know, these guys had like the, the most ESEA refrag demos on the website, uh, you know, trawled through. And so in terms of preparing for a team like Na'Vi, well, those are great things to have in your repertoire. Fnatic with a pistol, looking for a comeback, but Na'Vi want to flip the script immediately. They've read the screenplay. And simple. Looking to play dirty, moving up with this AK, surrounded by armorless Deegs on the most part. Boomish was the one to drop this over. Oh, only simple hits those. Any more? Yes. Oh, it's the thing of beauty. This AK good for the openers. Just Brolin left oh. to get past Simple and Boomich. They come together to find that kill. And now Crims and Alex are throwing into this retake. This AK on Simple at 12 points of health. And look at the position he's playing, bro. Like, <laughs> That's right, man. he just like crashed in the middle of the site. Oh, Simple. Another Any just more? Crims left to beat. 12 points of health. Grims will bring Simple okay. to his knees, and he's still in with a chance of winning this round. That was bad. Electronic oh, oh, will yeah. catch it on the swing, but yeah, I agree, Hugo. That could have got out of hand with the truck plant. It's always a little bit scary. Yeah, it was it was it was wider as well, so you wouldn't have to like fully commit. When you see people plant like mid truck, that's when the situation gets dangerous. It's not for bank, it's not for long, it's not for short, but it's wider. However, Electronic knew he had to peek before Crims gets on that bomb. There was that, a kit nearby as well. Electronic was also the guy to plant the bomb, which definitely yeah. helps, he you know, like because he doing. knows yeah. where he put it. Great round out of Simple though, one AK and Na'Vi were planning uh, for failure as well. They had four guys with nothing. So they were saving, they would be buying up here even if they lost that round, but that's a perfect way to flip it on its head in this second half, putting Fnatic on Deagles. We often say this and it holds true with how the money is in Counter-Strike right now. Winning that second round after losing Pistol is in essence better than winning Pistol. It digs your opponents a very deep economical hole without that extra loss bonus at the start of the half. Fnatic, 1400 bucks, and they've spent it wisely. Oh, oh electronics being flashed to the nines. That AK can get mm. thrown over onto someone like, you know, Crims or Brolin, someone with some HP behind this armor. So Crims is going to be the guy to get it. A triple rotate fast up towards A. Chiquinho tries to cross with the flashes. Brolin's at least traded that kill out. Not comfy yet for Na'Vi by any stretch of the imagination. I think once again, we're going to have to eye up simple, see what he can get away with around this smoke. Oh. Brolin digs him out of the round. And so Boomich has made the call. We're getting out of A. I don't like what we've just seen. They're going to try and move down Con, but Alex is here ahead of time. Very low on HP. They don't perfect though, hasn't gone out, oh, and they haven't no. even accounted for this <laughs> pillar position. Alex, it. they're right here. And he's dropped the bomb. 20 seconds now for Boomich. Not enough time, not enough chances. I love that from Alex. Yeah. Like, you're not going to win that on an aim duel. You're not going to win that swinging out with the D, get 15 points of health. He goes, no, I'm going to use the element of surprise, baby. It was very risky, mate. It was 10 health. I thought he would stay at the headshot angle, right, knowing you also can't cross in that deep. But he hit the perfect timing to pillar and the last place they expected. I mean, Boobich is going deep as well. That was a, that round was pretty screwed. Even if Perfecto gets the plant and, or kills Alex, Boomich, the bomb's not for him. So yeah, that's, there are ways for that to go wrong anyway for Na'Vi and Fnatic win a deco so forced by wars are on they really should not have won that far more than how Na'Vi shouldn't have won their second but that's how these games start or rather these halves Natus Vincia now with that one gun again I mean I think already you should be pretty impressed with how Fnatic are remaining you know so competitive in this especially with that, what, I think it was 7-1 scoreline touted by Na'Vi at one point in time. Eight one, rather. Mm. So not even giving them enough credit. Brolin waiting in the toilets, boom, it's and bit. Oh, oh no, Brolin. Oh no. Glocked. Yeah, that's a little bit brutal. It's not the Glock to get the kill. <laughs> But he does do the bulk of the damage. Now, Boomich, give that AK over. Good boy. <laughs> 
Yeah, not armored, right? So he again drops simple. Like, you know, I, I just to draw back parallels to the whole Zeus thing where yeah. we had the, that time where it was like, you know, you'd see Zeus with an AK over simple and the logic of, oh, Zimbo could do more with a with a Deagle than, and I can do less with an AK and that Wait. weird <laughs> justification. <laughs> that's Boomage, that's not the argument I know. Yeah. Uh, Boomage, Boomage never does that. And I like that, you know, always setting simple up for success. And we saw that second round. Yeah. We did it with it. And now they look to do it again. Boomage is just a sweetheart. He's like, yeah, yeah simple is the best. So of course I give him the AK. Simple for Simple, and I can barely frame you. Flicks left and right. Messi, good night. Simple's in the sight, and Alex has to stop them. He can't. Oh, my goodness. Simple, give us a break. He's even going back for the flank, oh. but the bomb's not covered. Oh. Crims doubles up. Four seconds. He's won the round. Oh, my goodness. Crims with a one on three out of absolutely nowhere. Navi could not cover, or did not, rather. And Fnatic. By the skin that's, of their teeth. that's kind of now both of these attempted bomb plants where Navi are almost getting ahead of themselves somewhat, right? Uh, the, the, the player in the sight with Boomage, I think it was simple. Yeah, he got lined up, mate. He turned around. It's very awkward. Look at that lineup. There, but yeah. yeah. He, you know, he just gets hit as Crims is trying to kill the bomb plant. A simple accidentally takes the bullet, and you think maybe the body block is enough. All they need is the plant, and then there's a 1v1 that you Dude, can that's, convert. that's crazy. That's so unlucky. Yeah, well, you did. I, only, I went somewhere with it, Harry. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't have a joke. Don't worry. You've got to make light heart of the darkest of moments. It's lion time, baby, and Na'Vi, they've got a sour taste in their mouth. Yeah, right now it's a bit in the limelight, right? He's got that AK, so let's see what he can do with it. Yeah, slow down now for Na'Vi. Fnatic four strong on that lower site. Jaquino five and 14, but uh, you know, his, his impact has got to be noted. Four of those five kills, extremely high impact. I guess three actually, because he only killed one in the 1v2 that he won. And uh, and he had a massive you know, opener closer round, taking down Simple and getting Fnatic one of their first rifle rounds on the board as well. So it was that little streak of four, five, four it was, if you remember in the first half, right at the end. And Jaquino was at the forefront of the first two. Now we go into B. Na'Vi, not much util to get it done. Bit needs some entries. Okay, there's the trade to Crims, but he's brought down very low in the process, and there's no one else armored here. So you give it to Simple and you say, look, I know this isn't ideal, but if anyone could get this, the NRV squad believing, it's this guy. Mm. This is such a botched round, though, with one flash. At least we're giving the gun over. He can now line them up with Util. Oh, Alex swinging in. <laughs> Simple's traded it. And everyone else is going to act like big fleshy decoys. They are Simple's armor, essentially. They get ahead of that, and the Famas just chunks them all down. No hope for Na'Vi in that round there. Nine on the board for Fnatic, and a weird monetary situation to find yourself in. You can get four rifles here. Right? The reason it's a little bit weird is because of Bit, obviously. Yeah. So right now for Na'Vi, simple and Bit. Right now, Bit is 7 and 0 Woo. in opening duels. What about simple? Uh, 4 and 2. Not bad. Of course, the ones where he fell short were to Jaquino. Yeah. Got a little rivalry there already, perhaps. Electronic, a late short look. Brolin. With the door off, he's got to worry about both Con and his behind, and even the top side that is being watched right now for Chiquinho. But that won't remain forever if Rifles were to push him back, and it's only bit on A anyway. Navia leaning B, bit selling a bit of a fake through connector. Perfecto baits Brolin, but he goes right up behind the smoke, and he can see there's no one clearing connector. And this is what I talked about. He's still scared of top Con. Chiquinho's got to rotate down lower. It looks like a B play, and that's because it is. Oh, Boomish. Coming out ahead there. Alex with the flank is cancelled out by Bit. I wonder if that puts change in the wind of Na'Vi. No, they still want to follow through with this B commitment. See, after removing the comp play, you know the rotations are on their way, and yet they still want to fight for this B control. They, they lock out the one player in the sight. It's leaving Fnatic with very few options. Oh, this my. boost has suddenly provided a world of opportunity. The two big hitters, Simple and Bit, knocked out of the round, and it's low HP Boomich, the guy who opened it up, now has to close it in a 1v2. That kit is stuck. I don't know if they can even grab it. It looks like it's behind the sandbags. We'll have to see, as time is going to be the biggest problem for Fnatic. Like you said, only one shot. 
On to Boomish oh, will do it. Yeah, they can't find the kit. Cursed, it's yeah. cursed as hell. We need a stick right here, right now. Messi's gonna go for it. Chikino with a cover. Should be fine. Should be fine. But Boomish running oh, in no. with the entry. Doesn't believe it. It's a 10 second stick. Oh, and because Boomish it's thinks 10 he's seconds. on the round. Oh. And it's anything but. Bye bye. Kit not needed. Messi with a double kill off the boost and then closes it with a defuse. You know what's weird? I think if they have the kit there, maybe they even outbrain themselves <laughs> somewhat. Because, uh, you know, like, when it's the 10 seconds and he doesn't hear it tapped again after five, you know, Boomich is kind of going like, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe they've gone maybe. off and they're holding for me right now. They're holding for the trade. Hell, all we can speak about is the result and it comes up for Fnatic. What a way back in. After all of that, this is our peak. We're going to keep working harder and harder. And so the motivation looks there for Fnatic. And how can it not be with results like this? Giacchino flashed out a bit, finding it on AWP on the CT side. This is one of the best halves to run that AWP in the game. And so safe to say with an expensive investment, he's got to make it worthwhile. Ah, oh, Brolin, Ambit, they face each other there. These are the two players that have attempted the most opening duels for their team. Bit is wrecking Brolin in the stats department there. But finally, Brolin's able to, to not just win one of these opening fights, but critically, it's versus that, that you know, can opener for Na'Vi. Yeah. Is that his first fielded failure on the opening duels now? Maybe. He said 7-0 a few rounds ago, so there is a chance. Yeah, I believe it is. Okay. Brolin. Back for more, but chikino has got the cover by his side. Brolin can now tuck in. Chikino could even back up if he wants. I don't know that Brolin sits here still, and there's even a third man on A, as if matters weren't already hard enough for Na'Vi. Reaggression. Hello, Brolin. He wants to get involved right into the smoke, looking through the divider. They're going to start to try and clear these corners. Brolin's completely swapped sides, and he hears everything. He knows numbers are about in middle. Na'Vi might be saving here. 20 seconds. It's actually a good call. It's not the call you want to make, but what else can you yeah. really do? Good call. You know, it, it's really it's, the yeah. only call, right? You're like, patching your wound. Mm. And this is huge. Fnatic now tying this game up at 11-11 with, most importantly here, a flawless round. Like, they are so thrilled with the outcome of this one that they essentially removed two players and now be went, all right, boys, throw in the towel. We'll do it next time. Yeah. Like, th this is great. This is great for Fnatic because now they have some staying power in this map, right? They're not just going to lose a round, get reset. Everything starts going to pot. And, 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 you know, it becomes a real big worry with Na'Vi getting some freebies. No, they're yeah. going to have to grind their way back through this one now. Now, on the Na'Vi side... Co Coinbase chart shows you the stonks exactly as they are for Fnatic in blue. And so, wow. All right, okay. This game's Once heating again, up. reminder, 8-1 to Na'Vi. When you look at it through that lens, it suddenly makes this 11-11 feel like Fnatic are, are, are leaps and bounds ahead almost. Well, there's, there would be a reason you feel that yeah. way. And that's because, well, the numbers speak for themselves. Alex. Electronic did a lot of this in this T the CT side, right? Pushing through this tunnel, taking monster control. The spray is close. Alex won't go through, and maybe luckily so, because Electronic is tucked in by Monster in a very hard corner to clear from the short pipe. Bit moving out long. He's been here alone in a lot of these rounds, but he will be met once again with steer oh. resistance. Yeah, you talk about the short pipe. Chiquinho's trying to give him the long pipe right now over <laughs> here. Look at this. <laughs> Scoped up bit, waiting. Oh. He just heard that drop down. That's Maybe. info. You know, someone was here. But the bomb is still outside of B. Bit and Perfecto set up for Con and Toilets. I'm curious if the plan is just to rotate bit through Con with Perfecto yeah. hold, holding it, or if they want him to maybe commit to this A play a little, try to put the fear in Fnatic. No more nades to fake it. So he would just have to throw his body at the problem. And he's going to get out of there. Rejoin his teammates at B. That is the right call. Little Denarvi know it. Only too strong in the sight. But Alex has held on. He's bought time. That's the most important thing here. Dropping the bomb out in Monster. And now this smoke down at Barrels. He's just looking to waste time off the clock for Na'Vi. Something that has uh -oh. been a uh -oh. reoccurring problem. He knocks out a third. Oh, Brolin's no. now going to have his go at denying this bomb. Oh, but oh. Bit is so damn ready. Just perfecto left. But we said this guy is a good crunch time player. Well, boy, oh boy, is it crunch time. All right, Chiquinho to go up against. 
Bottom of the board for Fnatic, but looking to win another clutch for the squad. He's faking oh, no. it. He scopes to give the illusion. Oh, what? The stick! Oh my god! <laughs> 6 HP on Jaquinho! 6 HP the difference! Spectre ran out of ammo. The final bullet, Harry. One more shot and the gun would have done it. It was on the mark. It was on the money. And Jaquinho doesn't need to frag to close these rounds. This is insane. So many of these rounds that Na'Vi look like they are destined to get are being yeah. won in the most ludicrous of cl uh, clutches out of Fnatic, but it's enough to keep them in the lead. I, I wonder if Perfecto makes the call there with that weird bridge smoke down. Maybe he says to Bit, like, yeah, watch above you, bro. Like, I can cover everything. I can cover headshot, but I can't cover the top of the smoke. And with Tanya, man, 12 to 11. No bias here. I just want a great game, and we're getting exactly that. Na'Vi, do they have a second wind in them? Because right now, it's a lights out storm for Fnatic. Mezzi in the connector doesn't have the same gap that was here earlier. Na'Vi can move into B short without worry. Or at least for the next few seconds until this fades and then Mezzi can activate. Alex at B alongside Crims. What a deadly duo. Alex and Crims anchoring the B bomb site. What world are we in? There's Mezzi finding his first. Again, taking down Bit, who was often, as you said, been that opening guy. Not today. Brolin's got another. Oh, Alex is even re-aggressing the pressures on. Na'Vi don't know what's about to hit them. And Alex, even though he's traded, there's more where that came from. But it's all for simple. Two frags, and this round is still in limbo. Yeah, the bomb is in a very awkward position. You're going to have to go all the way back to T-spawn to even get it. No one's really in a position to do that. This might be one of these rounds where you find yourself having a frag or else it all falls apart. Simple is trying to be the man to go back and get the bomb, but it's on a bit of a knife's edge because he's so low and he knows about this comp player. He's managed to get back and get it. 30 seconds, Electronic is holding down this B bomb site. Simple will live this crossing at short. And Electronic is even making the heads up play of going, you know what, Simple? I've cleared it. It's fine. You don't have to it's worry fine. about this crossing. That's because Mezzi is wrapping all the way through middle. Right now, Fnatic are giving Na'Vi a good deal of respect. And that's going to let them get this bomb planted. Still a three on two in the retake. And so Fnatic are relying on the numbers being enough. Yeah, great utility for Na'Vi there. The molly, the smoke, it all gets them into the site. And now they're out. They've got to worry about that stick. We've seen it let them down a couple of times. Info's good, simple, taking fights, it's dangerous. They're going to double wrap Mezzi. He thinks he's on the flank. It's not exactly. He's being flanked and he still turns around and domes Electronic. 1v3, 10 health to do it. And simple, fully flashed out in the site. They're on the bomb, they're sticking it. You need body blocks, you need more than that. Simple can't stand the test of time and Fnatic time is all they got. Another defuse to lock in 13. And you got to feel like just nothing is working for you if you're Na'Vi. The respect the Fnatic give to get you that bomb plant, they take it all away oh, in the retake. It disappears real yeah. quick when the retake's oh, yeah. on, doesn't it? And, and they're waiting for Mezzi. That's why yeah. they're giving away the plant. They know they're more than favored taking fights. But the only way Na'Vi win that with simple Yo, and electronic deadly duo. What a read. Where does that come from? Nothing to give him that information. Mate, Mezzi just built different. Alex He's like, mate, so it's now. clear. No wonder Alex is bigging this guy up so much. He's yeah. it's, oh, so good. Man for the job. And, you know, I know the Swedes and the Brits are on the same team, but Brolin and, and, uh, and Mezzi are like having this little private fight for number one on the squad. <laughs> well, All I'm going to say is, what up now, Swedes? Woo! <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a wild, wild ride. Okay. T-side orb. Let's see what it can do. Simple. He still had a great game. Say what you want, right? That clutch, if you were expecting it from him, I don't know what more you want. But this is a round that needs to come through for Na'Vi or things are suddenly going to hit hot water. Chiquinho putting his AWP in the front line. Flashed out. Doesn't take a shot, but they don't even look at him. Boomich does not look at the AWP that's blinded in front. Instead, it's Brolin who comes out clutch in the toilet, saving Chiquinho, although he didn't know, and a double push through B. Fnatic have all the info. Yeah, mate, they're starting to take liberties now. They're starting to feel confident about this uh, about this position they're in. They know how much oh. the scales are tipped. Ah. Now, Electronic, it's like a pantomime. Alex, he's <laughs> behind you! And there he is, getting the drop on the IGL of Fnatic and yes. doubling down. Electronic has pried this B bomb site wide open. The bomb's going all the way back through T-spawn. Simple is lost to the hands of time over here in toilets. He's going to have to fight his way back down that connector. And I don't think Chiquinho's ready for this. No way in hell. The barrel's been bye spotted. Bye. Simple will snuff him out of the round, out of a chance. And ooh, even 
Spotting this com player in Brolin, but Brolin's keen for the fight and he's going to knock Simple to his knees. Messi and Brolin, the two top performers for Fnatic. Sweden and UK, baby, coming together for a two-on-two -two retake. Electronic and Perfecto. They need this one. Na'Vi need this round. So many of these situations have gone in favor of Fnatic. This cannot nice. afford to be that case. And Electronic, he might be the man to deliver. Three kills now, looking for number four. Ooh. Brolin will knock him that's out, hard. but Perfecto is there to save it all. Mate, that's a bad plan, and so that's the exact reason Brolin's not ready for that position, right? It's default. Perfecto, there was actually a molly down. Maybe he's thinking about crossing and grabbing that if Brolin gets on the bomb, but it's, it's the mind game. It's the fact they're finally not playing for the plan that means Brolin won't expect that spot. Nice round for Brolin, but even better for Electronic. These opening kills, right? Catching Alex on the short gave him all the room in B, and he doesn't just get one, he gets Three, great round out of Navi. It had to happen. That was an A play, and they didn't know that the double monster flank was boxing them in. But Navi brought box cutters to the party and sawed their way out. Now a full eco. Now this game hangs in the balance. Fnatic have not won this one yet, and Navi coming in late. Well, that's what they're known best for. This should be a near guaranteed 30, even with the eco wins we've seen in this map already. I'm not expecting it here or now. And Electronic is crafting a path to the B side. There's Giacchino dead. Still a short player. Crims has given that up to no success. So Electronic knows what to expect. More for Electronic. And it's like a late activation, man. He's, he's not had a bad game, but he's been fairly quiet. Has been simple and bit doing everything. And now Electronic finding back-to-back -back 3K rounds to put Na'Vi equal with Fnatic. A third man stepping up to the plate. And now Fnatic's mishmash by. They've got everything. They've got an AWP if they want it. And even if we just get a, a kill or two out of Giacchino here, it could make all the difference. He's still being quiet. Clutches galore, don't get me wrong. But opening kills would go a long way right now. Simple chooses not to all. He could have, but he didn't. have taken this short control away and they've got connector that's nice it opens up a lot of opportunities I, I like as well that as electronic has really started to find his footing he he's kind of just seeing what he can get away with on yeah. these monster creeps right Ooh. not offering up any hints as to whether or not he's pushing just walking it now he did get spotted there that should be come the cross Fnatic are ready for this. Crims has opened up with a kill onto Boomich. And once again, these smokes that they're dropping, it, it's kind of similar to that like electronic smoke near to, uh, near to the barrels, but it's a little further back and it means they get to like peek over the uh, over the pit position yeah. here. And it's just slowing down these B takes every single time. On top of that, the flashbang assault the Fnatic threw in that round was insane. Like popping Alex into shore, popping him back into pit, like just constant po uh, prodding and poking into Na'Vi as they try and take the bomb site. Now they're going back to A. Chiquinho's here, he's playing retake. Now they don't have a kick currently, and so that could be a problem here. But Fnatic, oh, they just run through with a flashbang. Blinds are both, Bit doubles up Chiquinho, a massive kill. And they know Bit's trapped out of the truck. He could have gone long. That's what they're coming. But Chiquinho has to check the close corner. Crim's going to swing with him, and they line up. But Bit gets one. Crim's trades, and another clutch needed for Crim's. Him v simple, low HP both sides, he takes the AWP, a rifle would do him far better you would think, but he doesn't know the health, quick tap, needs the peek, needs the shot, and Crims oh! has got it! No way! Our AWP simple! Oh. It's gonna be close, <laughs> but I believe in Crims mate, if he thinks he's got it, he's got it in the bag, Fnatic, wow. they steal that round, and Crims one shot from death, Flicks onto Simple oh my God. and never even breaks a sweat. Fnatic, they must be pumped right yeah. now. They but must be pumped up. They got, they're the clutch kings at the moment. Crown out for Simple. If you wanted to save base, this is a round to win for Na'Vi. And this game has got everything. It's delivered. And it's only the first map. Electronic is doing this little walkout again. Last time their flashes were sick. This time, they don't have them. Oh, 
Oh, that flash is a little shallow. Oh, oh. And so Alex overestimates how much Electronic has been stifled by it. Oh, oh. perfecto. Saves Electronic there. Save Catching it. the player attempting the trade. And that is enough E round all damn day. That's the idea behind these electronic walkouts. When you don't telegraph the push, when you don't give them hints, you're hoping to just catch them on timings like this. Yeah, I mean, we were hoping for a good game out of Fnatic to start, but when we had Perfecto 4K in the pistol, when we had the, you know, 8-1 lead, I wasn't expecting this I'm, kind of matchup. I'm smiling like a moron right now. This is so <laughs> exciting. Like, yeah. oh, I, the fact the fact that it was 8-1, I, I was like, yeah. oh, no, it's a oh, dead no, matchup. Yeah. Like, Navi <laughs> destroying, great. More Navi but, supremacy. Yeah. But this is a competitive series, and Giacchino, it might get hard. He does take down simple, big kill. Oh, it's getting hard, all right. Yeah. Here we go. Electronics, uh, that's another 3K, Harry, as well. He's every B round that he's entered, he's 3K'd. <laughs> it's actually insane. Giacchino's going to get away with this. It does seem like it. Unless they throw themselves into the bank looking to make a deposit or more a withdrawal of this orb. Giacchino can't afford to lose this gun. It's the one weapon they would have in that follow up. Stay tucked. Oh my goodness! They try and knife him. The trade will come in instead. Bye bye, all. That's gone. Along with your pride, along with your sanity. The right click came Mate, through. <laughs> how, how devastating is this, though, right? On the back of losing that orb, that was like your only big ticket item to bring forward into 1414. You are fully broke. And I'm talking like $1,400 a player broke. Yeah, what a you're, horrible way that would be. You're, you're forcing now, and if you don't win the force buy, you're forcing again. If you don't win that, it's GG. <laughs> Bit going for knife kills. He's got Na'Vi blood in him already. 14-14, my goodness. I mean, yeah, they won the second round with it, or their, their, their third round. Their, can't even speak. Their yeah, second I mean, round no, being the third round with this buy, but Navi a far better arm for the job. Electronic, he knows they're going to push B, and so they shout. Okay, Crimson. so finally, Trading. finally Electronic hasn't multi-killed the B bomb yeah. site. Like, is that enough? Is that enough for Fnatic? Even though they only have these deagles. Simple. Simple. Creeping up. Yeah. You don't miss those, Brolin. Unfortunate place to find yourself. Uh-oh. Giacchino dead at long as well. Crimson Mezzi. Two on four. This AK on Crims might not even want to hang about if Messi can't stay alive here. Yeah. And it's not an easy spot to stay alive in either. No one's looking at this going, oh, easy for Messi, but oh, Ooh. maybe it is. The deep shot connects for the first. And now, if Crims wasn't invested before, you better believe he is. Messi with this deagle. Crims oh. spots a bit. Simple trades, and they know about this deag. Messi be oh. simple, and simple comes out ahead, wow. securing his 30th kill, and most importantly, fifth in this map. But to compare these teams, Fnatic and new squad, Na'Vi more than experienced. Safe to say, Nart has been here, done that, and they're about to get the T-shirt. A quick shop and drop to close out the first map of the series. Let's see if Na'Vi can do it. This should be the easiest round yet, but it holds the hardest consequences. Triple toilet One. for Fnatic. The smoke is down and they hang around. Yeah, that, that's the issue with this round is it's like if there ever was a time to try and gamble and, 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 you know, maybe take a bit of a coin flip, it's in a round like this where everyone's playing nervous. Everyone is scared about the potential of an OT on the Na'Vi side. So they stack heavy in toilets, leaving Alex to anchor the B-bomb site alone. We know Electronic has been doing these walkouts down towards B, but this round he's in con. Na'Vi are setting up towards this site, but the flank oh, from Brolin no. has hit his stellar timing. Oh, oh. the Deagles of Fnatic into a five on two. Ow. This is where Alex alone at the B-bomb site, his whole job now is just to not die immediately, not give up this bomb plot. He's spotted at the barrels, Electronic moving in, Simple alongside him. It's this terrifying oh. Na'Vi duo, but Alex has gotten rid of one of them. Simple gotta come up in the one on five or else this game is going to overtime. Are the Deagles oh. enough? Simple, two out of the five kills needed and now he's on a Deag of his own. He's going to try and beat them at their own game. Flash does not find Simple. And in fact, oh, it's Brolin to find him. We're going to... And we're in to overtime. 
Jaquinho and Simple both donning these AWPs. For guys like Simple, the gloves are well oh. and truly off. Electronic hits a blinder, and Simple has also opened the round with a kill. This B bomb site getting bullied, and Na'Vi are ready to move in on the back of it. Alex is once again the lone defender. Messi has now moved in actually to supplement this B hold. Na'Vi ain't feeling the pressure just yet. They can slow it right down, Hugo. It's uh, poetic seeing Alex throwing Vitality Utility there. The that Apex little, Flash. Uh, pop Flash. Well, a different one towards Sean, not the monster one that oh. you know and love, but also Vital Util. And even taking the AWP, we saw that on the tail end of Cloud9. He's picked it up off of Chiquinho's body. I think it was Run Boosted Monster, audacious stuff for Fnatic, but Na'Vi have slowed down. They are cool right now. They are not stressed. Five on three, and it's not up to them to make the play. Not yet, at least. Na'Vi will bleed the clock. Alex wanting to get involved. Bits in the toilet, tucked in tight. Double push on this A site, and Bit has no idea. Wall rolling from long gone. There's still two more CTs to worry about. A lineup there. Bit's going to trade the AWP, but do they know about Mezzi? He just got a frag, and he's sitting on the bomb. They take the site. They're waiting for the flank up connector, and Mezzi just trying to get involved. This would be 30 kills, but oh. he can't do it. Bit waiting in the wings, and Na'Vi find their first of overtime. Yeah, got a bit weird with Messi getting that frag. I thought a bit would have yeah. honed in more, but Took yeah, a so he, come, he comes back around yeah. to it. Two, two kills in sync for Alex and Messi as well on short side. Like Fnatic, they timed that crunch perfectly as far as Brolin coming back from long toilets and both A players pushing in. But we always see those timings elude teams, right? Where, you know, you walk down toilets to come up banana. You walk down banana to come up toilets, right? It's so, uh, it's so infuriating. And Bit does the best at that as he has been doing all game long. Na'Vi maybe want to ramp up the pace a bit towards B. Send Electronic out Monster. But Fnatic do have the utility. Here in overtime, money is no problem. And so, nades, molly, smokes, you name it, they got it. That will force a bit of respect out of Electronic for the time being. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Even taking the orb now out of the gate. That's what I was about to say, Alex, darling, the secondary orb, getting some, uh, some real C9 Ooh. flashbacks and all. Oh, Messi, going oh, for the jump peak. You don't want to do that against Simple. Yeah, he's cool, I hit that. It slows down again. Since hitting OT, mate, now V, they, it does look like the gloves are off, right? Like. Everything's oh looking goodness. very, very clean. What? Simple kills Electronic, but Boomich has at least gotten into this site. That was a collateral yeah, two Simple for Simple through out. his teammate, but it's all good. It's opened up the B bomb site. Brolin dead on rotation, and Chiquinho still sat bottom of the board. Ten kills. This is a 1v4. <laughs> he could only fathom of winning. Yeah, that was a simple faking out on the A site as well, I think. Uh, we need to see that back. Chiquinho, an impossible clutch, especially with a heaven player now to worry about. Now, Bit's not here, but I'm not getting worried yet. Chiquinho moving in, and now they double face. Simple to close, and yeah, let's run that one right back. As Na'Vi, they, they flash Boomich into play, and Simple, meanwhile, does dirty things on A. Hopefully we'll have that replay in a bit, but for now... Pull that one up, Jamie. Oh, oh here's just the tag onto Mezzi. Yep. Oh, it was down on lower then. Rather. Yeah, it was over here. Oh, ah, there we go. Man. Yeah, okay. That's... Uh, hey, it works. It's one way to do it. I'll tell you that much. Kills the monster player. Kills Electronic. But hey, two for one. That's how bloodthirsty they are right now. They want this win. Ooh. As far as Na'Vi are concerned, it never should have even <gasps> got to this point. Oh, if he shot there, he still can. Messi doesn't know how close he's coming to death. He almost died last time to this same play. Why would you risk it? <laughs> it's not even down to you at that point. Na'Vi, though, what a return to form, right? Even though they couldn't close in regulation, even though the Deagles proved to be just too much for Fnatic. Once everything's out of there, Na'Vi, they're feeling feisty, looking for a clean sweep on the T side. And if you want to look for why this has happened, look look no further than Electronic, really. Like, having this late game activation, like you say. Oh, well, bye finally bye. he's been stifled down here towards B. That's a big name to have removed. The reason I highlight him was earlier on, we were saying how it was bit and simple taking the majority of these opening fights. While Electronic has since caught up, think about how many multi-kill B entries this guy had. Now they've got to try and do it without him. 
Everyone's here. Everyone is here. Simple. Smoke is still down. Jaquino waiting. Contact shot. Simple with the orchid to trade. There's still a divider man. Brolin, he's off the bit in this position. Baited in by Messi. And Brolin grabs Boomich as well. Fnatic looking like they're going to lock it around at least on this CT side. Unless Bit can go nuclear. He knows about that toilet player, but he can't finish the job. 16 found for Fnatic. That's a sigh of relief. Uh, a breath of fresh air. As it felt like Na'Vi were ready to go 3-0 up in overtime. And with their CT side being where they started, being their stronger half in this game, finding 10-5 in the first half, that would be worrying. Fnatic at least have a bit of room to breathe. It's only a little bit of breathing yeah. room, but man, it, you know, it can't, it can't feel so, so worth it. So let's see if that's enough. Ooh, lots of space taken. Navi love to do this in reg, right? Throwing bit over party with flashes. But Fnatic are ready for it. Yeah, I think it's also important to look at Electronic here because if you remember, he was constantly pushing this short water. Even when he wasn't getting kills out of it, he was getting a lot of information. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if that keeps up now that we've hit overtime and the stakes feel that much higher. He's already looking pretty fast and loose over here towards short, pushed up to the sandbags. Crim's never spotted that. So eventually, this path will be carved for Electronic to once again be that forward scout, get the early B info yeah. on the back of this position. Uh, you know, despite uh, Electronic having good info on water right now, we're still 3B, and I think part of that is Fnatic through double nades and monsters to start the round. That's kept Na'Vi scared of this lower site. Eventually, the penny will drop and they'll have to move up, but right now, the timing for Fnatic is looking really good. Simple, on long, is gonna be that forefront man to take the first contact, but Alex won't give it to him. Doubling back as he walks through toilets. Still three strong on B. And with Mezzi outside of Monster, maybe they go back down connector. Maybe it is always going to end down on this lower site. If that's the case, you've got to worry about Electronic tucked in close. Crims needs his entry and he's back walking in. Electronic grabs one. Roland trades and the round is on. Yeah, that trade frag from Brolin is everything. Also, Alex is about to hit the mother load of timings. Now, it does rely on his teammates actually getting into B, but if they do, and Alex can activate late in the round, that's huge. Brolin's picked off by the comp rotation. The bomb plant has got to come in, and the kills just aren't getting found for Fnatic. Oh! Alex here, just a second too late. Oh, oh my goodness. Two out of three, but Bit wins it to time. It's devastating for Alex. It's devastating for Fnatic. They put all the faith in that flank, but we're with the B entries not coming in, with that bomb plant not getting found, the flank isn't able yeah. to play into the round how they wanted it Five to. Five seconds difference, and that's a totally different round. It's, especially with, if that bomb went default, I think they would, would have won it. They would have got the plant in, but it was a bit to stop. And as Simple hit his 30th frag to find the first match point of this map, oh, it was Boomish dropping the bomb. Disregard that point. But as Simple hit 30 on 30, bit hit 30 to find another match point. That's 18 for Na'Vi. It's their second chance to close it out. And this time they have two opportunities. It's not the Eagles on the other side though. It's Fnatic full bought, raring to go. And what an, a debut for Fnatic here. But they don't want to fall like you said earlier. They don't want to be the guys who almost beat Na'Vi. And so Mezzi catches that aggression out B that's been prolific in electronic CT side. Out Monster in the T rounds contact and doing the same here in the second half, but it means nothing. That kill is, is, is huge though. For all intents and purposes, like you're, you're, you're very, very happy at finding a four on five in that way. It's untradeable. It also means that now Na'Vi have to commit to this double B setup, right? You're a lot less fluid with the rotations. It's going to give you more room to take space up here on A because the numbers uh -oh. just aren't there for Na'Vi. Boomich has now come up from this B-bomb site, but Fnatic are already in the site. Boomich is not away. He's oh. screwed here. <laughs> Alex runs him down. Simple at long with a missed shot. Brolin leaps over the top of it, and Alex is in there down spawn. Perfecto. Never ready for that. Oh, my God. Alex has so much room in this okay. D side, man. Double overtime maybe on the yeah, cards. I mean, I'm not maybe against on it. the cards after all. I got nothing against that, Harry. This is only map one. We got new cup next. We got dust two to close. And I hope we get all three with overtime sprinkled in on top. Flashes for Fnatic have been impeccable in this game. The CT flashes to, to uh, take water control to stop monster players were great. And now on the T side, full whiting boomage there. Nothing he can do about it. We've got players nearing 40 kills. Here we go. Nades stack. And look who's on the other side. Oh, no! 
the artillery. Simple and Electronic are both brought to their knees, never even seeing an opponent. It's funny, you talk about how Bit and Brolin have been at the guise of, of the forefront of these opening kills. They are also the two highest effective flash players in the server, 21 and 22 respectively. Yeah, I just flashed myself for the entries. <laughs> <laughs> it's one way to do it, Pug style. But this is tier one CS through and through. This is Mate, the best of the best. This nade stack to have opened up this round, uh, that could be everything. Yeah, right? look at who you've destroyed. The, the two big hitters outside of Bit, Right, who's obviously another name in contention, but he's now like the only guy with with a leg to stand on here. He's got to stand tall. They're coming his way. Alex hesitates again, but it's up to Chiquinho. And if Bit goes aggressive here, if there's a flash behind him, that's fine, but he catches a timing. And Chiquinho dodges death. It goes both ways. He knows about Bit. Meanwhile, Fnatic, if they hit that, the safe site, they now know that Long is corrupted and it, they've got to clear that out. It could kind of be misinfo. You've just seen the bomb running away from Long. Like now you are hearing flashes up through short, but look, Na'Vi aren't Three sold B. on the idea yeah. of this being an A play. Uh -oh. And I imagine a lot of it is because Bit's just said, well, the AWP just left, mate. He's, he's not on Long anymore. These sound like fake smokes, fake execs, but in reality, this push is coming in. Boomich, gotta hold the line. Only good for one, and Bit is toppled without a kill to his name. Those nades now, they matter a hell of a lot, because Simple and Electronic are the walking wounded in this retake. Perfecto's gotta do a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah, crippled by utility now, need to make the impossible happen, a man down. And it's coming to them, Simple headshot in the stairwell. Connector flank activated, does find one. Giacchino's dead, maybe Perfecto can whip out a clutch, but it's Electronic with a kit who can't afford to die in this position, and he does. Time could be the problem now. Perfecto's picked up a kit. 1v3. Fnatic don't need to face, don't need to move, and they'll peek him together to close the round oh. over time <laughs> two. Na'Vi just can't close these map points. And Mezzi hits his 30th as well as we run it right back. And as we head into a second overtime, mate, this is one of these rare situations where the sequel might be better than the original. <laughs> <laughs> We've not had many overtimes this season of Pro League, Harry. We had our first over in Group B. That felt like a shocker. That felt like a delayed start. Well, maybe it's because we've been saving them all for the real group, for Group C, for where things seriously heat up. Nate again, they know the impact it had last time with assists coming through off of that, but you're not gonna catch them by surprise twice. Boomich just spamming safe. It's a seized spam and short seized as well. Electronic gets into position and he's been so good at getting this, but I, I would say Electronic has definitely gone cold in the overtime. He's gone quiet. He was the hero. He's part of the reason I've even found 50. And now we need him more than ever. Bit is even walking the spawn. But which site does he go to? Fnatic is showing face on both halves of the map. Yeah. If Bit goes up the ladder, he's got to pick a side. And so he may, may never will. Just hearing the steps of the rotate. Does he know? Alex running. Let's see if that adjusts Na'Vi's rotations. Yes, two players on top. Run down to B. Bits grab the info that might win Na'Vi the round. You don't fall for a fake now. Yeah, not after hearing that, right? Bit might have been the man to find this first in double OT. He's at least enabled them to put their pieces in the right place. Electronic, oh, good what? for a double. Don't know how he gets his second there. And Boomich traded off to one. Simple's rotated in up in the heavens. They know about him. They know he's here. Flash is raining through, but that bomb plant can't get stopped anytime soon. Bit is now wrapping monster. Our Fnatic ready for this. They never spotted him. So it's going to be a shot in the back for Brolin. Crims is now the guy who's got a clutch. It was his clutch in that second half that spurred on this whole Fnatic retake, but the bomb not parted for him. That could work in his favor. They were not ready for this position, but now as it's the 1v1 on Simple, He's got it. Simple can Simple. just hop on the bomb and stick that defuse. Crims is Easy. two. What? Oh, <laughs> Lands the no scope and still wins the round. Simple does it with flair. Mate, he probably would have had that, Harry. He probably would have had that defuse, but the style points for Simple, it's always a delight to see. A no scope, you're just leaving that down to chance, but Simple scope, he doesn't need it. It works different. The game runs on rails and 19 rounds to Na'Vi. I mean, score means nothing at this point. Match points mean nothing. I don't think he nothing. did have it, by the way, so I think he yeah. had to get off of this. It's pretty close, but hey, Simple doesn't want to trifle with it anyway. I don't know, it was over halfway, man. It was pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty scary. Regardless, high intensity rounds now. Crim's nice try, but it's Na'Vi finding the first yet again.
Oh, are they assembling the boost in Playground? It looks like they could be. Nah, they're just going to use it to throw that molly over instead. Simple on the other side. They were getting up on this slide. I thought it was to try and remove you this thought. orb. But instead, Simple has locked them out of middle. 40. If you're Fnatic, it, it's going to feel kind of good knowing that you're, like, in a game where Simple is 40 kills deep, for crying out loud. Bit is 30. Electronics almost 30 bombing as well. You're still in this nice. one. Yeah, but so Na'Vi looking to again take a convincing lead. They went 2-1 to one in their first half of OT on the T side. And now they look to find another in the defense. Simple picks off the long player and it's Mezzi out monster. That was the bomb as well, yeah, so this, this is unwinnable. <laughs> Mezzi's just on damage control, make those stats look good and he can't. Perfecto takes him down and a flawless round for Na'Vi. Now they look for the clean sweep. And safe to say, it's often the first team to go 3-0 in a half of overtime to close. But Na'Vi, I don't want to get ahead of myself. They have had two match points, Harry. And both times, Fnatic have clawed back. Once, once behind, and the other twice. Yeah, yeah the lips of the prospect of victory. Simple smiling, that's always scary. Yeah, he smells blood in the water. Maybe a B rush. Maybe something a little bit faster. Bit of a quicker round out of Fnatic. Electronic, is he ready? He's gonna dance with the devil, but eventually that music's gotta stop. Electronic, there's the mow down. Two in it for him. Messi brushed aside by Perfecto and Na'Vi. Oh. Looking to go flawless in this second overtime. They've managed it on the CT side with three in a row. Now, one away from stealing Fnatic's map pick off of them. Should be easy, right? One round, three chances, all the money in the world, 10-5 T-side in regulation. What, what could go wrong, Harry? What could possibly be difficult? As we've gone through each of these OTs, every time Na'Vi come into it, mate, they, it feels like they're just going all out from the start and they've yeah. only gotten more aggressive, more oppressive, more in your face. Fnatic starting to get worried that they were already giving this all they've got and maybe there's not anything left in the tank yeah. anymore. They need three in a row themselves to get this oh. one to a third overtime. Hell, Na'Vi have faith in their T-side. It's Fnatic's map pick. Na'Vi picked T-side to start, Harry. They wanted to run their executes. They wanted to tear apart maybe this inexperienced Fnatic defense. But they have held on through thick and thin. And now, this is the hardest round of all. Alex making a move. They have no idea. Backstab, potentially. But which side do you look? Simple throwing nades. Oh, is he going to check the corner? Alex going for him. And he's... Oh, no! Just about gets the leg shot in. Mezzi holds strong on B. And Crimson with a crossfire takes a second. Fnatic, they won't go down without a fight. And with the bomb lost outside a monster, like you've got to go recover that before you can even begin to attempt the two on four. Forget it, let's just frag. Oh, this little gap angle out of Alex, mate, is dirty. They also don't know if anyone's playing around that bomb. Fnatic have fully given it bye over. Bye. But this is why. They know they could just play a numbers game now, and we're just a bit left standing. Well, he's had an incredible map. This is a 1v4 that should be unwinnable for the guy. And there's Alex to make it so. That's yeah. one out of three needed to get this to a triple overtime. You really can't doubt this double hold of Alex and Crimson, the B site. It has just been wrecking right now. I like that like variation on the electronic smoke that you mentioned earlier that they keep using towards the pit. Dropping it just that little bit lower almost gives you a one way and a way to actually fight towards Monster. And right there again, it's the behold that holds strong for Fnatic. Yeah, and you know, it feels like it kind of deals with like one of the issues, and that's that your other side at pillar and short is still open with the yeah. standard electronic smoke. Whereas when you're dropping it here, yeah, you're giving them a couple more feet of ground, right? But it, it feels worth it, at least with how Fnatic can play in this B site. They're able to make it work. Oh, a bit. Bit's we, gone deep. We've not seen any of this for Fnatic, right? Like, Na'Vi have loved to challenge mid-CT, but look at Brolin. Dude, he has Simple, never played here. Simple was about to molly this and then decides against it. I wonder if that's because Bit's like, no, mate, I'm all the way up. It's fine. Yeah, they're not peeking me. 
they won't possibly still be here, standing on the corner, defended I mean, by the Orb. As you say, this isn't something we've really seen them do in regulation, or once we hit OT. So can that be the surprise that helps get Fnatic closer? Oh, that's massive, though. Now the backstab can come in. Brolin had to activate with Con open. He could be shot in the back of the head instead. He might do that to the best. Simple. Oh, he looks for two, and it's Bit who covers his teammate. Brolin, one wouldn't cut it. It wasn't satisfactory enough, and it might be the undoing. The desperation, the greed. And Na'Vi, three away from a lock-in. Make that two. Electronic here to close. And Na'Vi might just have showed up at the right time. In Fnatic's map pick, Alex holds on B, but they're split one per site. Yeah, Chiquinho still are on the receiving end of a very quiet game. If there was ever, if there was ever a time for him to try and show what he can do, oh. it would have been right now. But Simple is up through toilets, brushes him aside. 42 frags on Simple, 13 for his orping counterpart on the other side. And Alex is now left in the roughest of situations. He's got the reality starting to set in that while this was a damn good try, it's a Na'Vi match.